This is a quick little video on how to draw an ellipse when you're given the major axis as shown and a point on the curve, point P, so you can see it's inside the major axis. So I always start off with a little sketch of how you draw your ellipse. As you can see there, I'm drawing my major, my minor circle, and I use the concentric circles method to draw my ellipse. The little sketch helps me figure out what I need to do and how I locate my points. So you can see me doing it just roughly there and I'll draw my curve just in one quadrant of it, okay? So P corresponds to P there, as you can see, and I'm highlighting a line going from P to the major circle. And in this case, it's a vertical line or parallel with the minor axis. Now I'm highlighting the next line, which goes from the point on the major circle that I just found back to the center point, okay? As you've seen just there and I've just done that. And then the final point is a line from P which in this case goes horizontally or parallel to the major axis until it cuts that line that we've just done, that line back to the center point. And you can see we have a point on it using our compass and the center point, extend to that point that we've just found, draw our minor circle, and with that, we're now able to draw our ellipse. Again, use whatever method you're more comfortable with. As I said earlier, I prefer using the concentric circles method. So using my 60, 30 degree set square, um, I can get 12 points. Again, I'm just going to use one quadrant in this case rather than um, wasting your time. It's the same process for the other three quadrants. You're just going to see now how um, if the ellipse is vertically orientated, how this works. Okay, so again, the easiest way of doing this is by simply uh, by, by me moving my sheet and you'll just see. Uh, my sketch remains the same. Um, my drawing remains the same. All that changes is that my angles and, 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 and everything moves 90 degrees. So there's my point P in this case. And what was a vertical line is now a horizontal line, or to recategorize it, it's a line that's parallel with the um, minor axis. There's a line going from that back to the center point. And then from P, we draw a line that's parallel with the major axis. Again, if I'm to orientate it at a random angle, let's look at P and let's look at the line from P to hit the major circle. We draw a line that is parallel with the minor axis. We draw a line back to the center point and then we draw a line that's parallel with the major axis. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.